Welcome back to The Unknown Angler. Today we're going to talk about how to clean and store your saltwater reels. First of all, let's talk about what a saltwater reel is. This is a click and pawl reel. This is not a saltwater reel. I love these reels. Don't use them in the salt. This is a disc drag reel. This reel is not sealed. All these uh, points are open to water. This is a fresh water reel. I wouldn't, uh, I, I would tell you not to dunk this reel and to make sure it's pretty dry when you store it, but never use that in the salt. Okay, so let's get to the salt water reels. What salt water reels are, is they are sealed drag reels. Everything in here is sealed so that water can't get in. That is a myth. These are not waterproof. Water can get in these reels. Depending on how much you spend on that reels, depends on how much waterproofing they've done and how much they've designed into it. I'm looking at three reels here, three distinctly different reels. This is a, this is a TFO, it's about a $200 price point. This is an Allen Kraken, it's about a $300 price point. And this is a Nautilus, which is somewhere in the six to $700 price point range. Obviously the Nautilus right there, that's gonna last you, last you a lifetime. And that needs the least amount of care. Uh, however, you should give it a lot of love and you should get a lot of care like we're going to talk about here. So first of all, this part's sealed. It's a sealed drag. This is your spool. It's got your line on it and everything else. Look at all the areas that are not sealed in here. This pawl mechanism isn't sealed. This uh, bearing mechanism in here, that anti-reverse bearing, that's not sealed. If this reel gets dunked and you don't wash it out afterwards, it is going to freeze up. Um, this is the worst of the three of these. It's also the cheapest, um, but you take care of them the same way. So the way to clean all of these reels, you do the same thing to all of them, is you take, you detach the spool, you take the reel, the spool, and you put it in a bucket of water. Uh, and this is, I'm doing this for, to show you, I put it in a, a, a bucket of water. The more water you have in there, a couple of gallons would be nice. It would be nice if it was like a two or three gallon bucket uh, so that you get all the salt off of it. Because the thing about salt is everybody thinks that salt corrodes. Salt does not corrode by itself. Salt is a desiccant. It pulls water out of the air. So even if the wheel is, reel is not wet when you put it away, if there's high humidity, the reel will get wet again. It pulls that water out of the air. It'll cause the reel to corrode. Any place there is salt on that reel will start corroding, not because of the salt, but because of the combination of the salt and the water. So you need to get all the salt off of it that you can. The line has salt on it. Your leader has salt on it. If you were lucky enough to get into a big old fish or dunk the reel, then the backing has salt on it. So you need to take the entire spool and you need to put that under water and just let it sit there 10 15, 20 minutes, anything over 10 minutes is fine. Just try to get as much of the salt off of there as possible. You do that with all of these. And then, whoop, and then take the sealed portion and run that under water. Do not, even the manufacturers will tell you, do not throw these in the water and dunk them and leave them under water. They are like a good pair of waders which is after a year, they're gonna to start to leak. After time, all these mechanisms that are in here, all these seals that they have, will get slight leaks in them. You don't wanna put them underwater for any amount of time, okay? You don't really wanna dunk them. The way to get the salt off of them is to run them under the tap. So just flush them out completely. By the way, when you go to store these, always, every time, back off your drag. Back it all the way off so you have absolutely no drag on the reel. All of these are um, sealed reels, but they all work under the same pre premise, which is they're disc drags. They have discs that ride together internally. And there's some sort of spring mechanism in there that pushes those discs apart when you back off the drag. That mechanism, if you do get water incursion into the reel, will cause that to freeze up and then there's no way you can put any pressure on those uh, on those discs. Also, some of these, if they're 
if they're old school, uh, have uh, actually um, uh, cork discs in them. And cork discs, you need to back off of them so that the discs are allowed to expand a little bit. Uh, most of them don't have cork discs these days. Uh, they'll use some kind of Teflon or some other kind of disc uh, to provide the drag. Once again, the more expensive ones, the better the seal they're going to have on the reel. There's going to be really no what we call inflection points for the water to get in there and to rust things up. I love these Krakens. I got a whole bunch of them. But uh, the one thing they do is if, if you can see that little screw right there, that's a set screw that holds the reel together. That's all rusted out. You can see this little set screw. That's all rusted out. You can see that little set screw in there. That's all rusted out too. I I use these reels a lot. I've got a lot of them, obviously. I treat these like they're my baby, and I wash these off an unbelievable amount. Even when I'm on a trip, I'm flushing them off all the time. So if mine have rust on them, I don't even want to see what yours have on them. Because trust me, I really get in there and I really clean them out. Anyway, so to review really quickly, take the spool off, dunk the spool, and then grease up the areas that are attached the spool to the actual reel itself. Only wash off the reels underneath the um, underneath the tap. And I would never ever use anything that is not rated for salt water in the salt water. In other words, if it's not a sealed drag, I wouldn't use it. And I know there's a whole bunch of controversy that people say, oh, I'd never buy a sealed drag because you can't get in there and fix them yourself. Guess what? If uh, one of these, uh, <laughs> if one of these batten kills um, with their uh, unsealed drags or these open drags here uh, get salt water in them, that thing is going to be deader than a doornail. You're not going to be able to get in there and fix anything anyway. It's going to corrode like the living bejesus and it's going to be completely worthless. So go with the seal drag, dunk the spool, make sure everything's nice and dry. Leave it dry overnight. You know, leave the spools out, put them on a towel, put them in your den, let them dry overnight, grease them up, put them back together, back off the drag, back off the drag, and then let them store for a month or whenever you're going to use them again. Definitely over the winter. Make sure you do that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you next time.